In this video, I will outline 10 key aspects that will give brand owners the confidence and authority to prepare a successful OTT offering. To get notified about the release of future video, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave the thumbs up if you liked it. The OTT video market is still nascent and can be seen complex and quite competitive, but it's also the largest global media opportunity in decades. So taking a wait and see approach is not a viable option for content brands. Traditional broadcasts and cable operators have proven that TV is the most influential medium for building brands and driving commerce and ultimately sales. Today, OTT technologies are delivering the power of TV with the agility and scale of global internet. From entertainment studio with compelling films for a specific target audience, to a radio broadcast station with a stable of digital talent, to a regional newsroom looking to launch a mobile-first video destination, to sport brands that are disrupting the traditional distribution model and go direct to consumer. This new era of video offer a two-fold promise. First, media companies can finally extend existing content to a new segment audience and second they can deepen audience engagement with new content and video experiences uh, diving deep into the highly competitive ott landscape without the right planning risk wasting your time and your money so those are my 10 key points first Set up your goal. Uh, there are two main types of goal sets, qualitative and quantitative. Make sure you cover both as those sets will determine your KPIs against which you will work for the next future months. The number two is the market you are approaching, the tribe or what we as marketeers call the buyer persona. Who is your target persona? How many potential target persona do you have? Are those clear? They may change during the long-term OTT journey, but they have to be set since the real start. Number three, the type of content. Define your unique content strategy. Content strategy means qualitative content, but even quantitative. Considering what we are living nowadays, specifically with this coronavirus, you should implement contingency plan to cover off-season period or off-peak periods. Think outside of the box to deliver the best content strategy and experience to your end user, to your fans. Number four, invest on marketing. User won't land on your video streaming service with a magic wand. You will need to create a compelling marketing plan that will cover a good number of tactics that all combined will determine the success of the launch phase and so on. Number five, and this is one of my favorite, hire talent people to analyze data and take the best out of your video OTT analytics. This, is, this will be very helpful for understanding consumer behavior to leverage also potential partnerships or advertising capabilities and then enhance your company's overall analytic structure. Number matter, guys. So uh, not just the passion that drives you will be the focus. Number six, create a B2C corporate mentality. You're probably coming from the traditional TV world that in less than 10 years won't exist anymore. Your brand will be the only asset that will enable your company to survive in the future. The positive aspect of that is that OTT can unlock this for you. The number seven is rely on a strong product capabilities. Feature proofs. Users are always more demanding and they put the qualitative bar where the big giants such as Netflix or Disney or Apple are. Have a feature proof CMS content management system that enables to raise the bar of your content and create apps without reinventing the wheel each time. It should be very it should be your <laughs> your prerogative. Number eight, no pain, no gain. Invest in solid monetization system. When I suggest uh, companies to think about this topic, I always recommend to think about a building intelligence system, sort of layer that stay on top of the different payment gateway uh, that we will, will integrate in the solution. 
this billing system will have to be as flexible as possible adapting your monetization strategy according actually to the to the market and the content distribution strategy number nine crm is not a secondary option anymore have your client relationship management system in place is crucial to your success the process of data has to be aligned with your goal sets how you will manage the awfully huge number of people that we register and will pay maybe for to access to your premium content will be the key for the success crm and marketing automation are going to be one close to each other so implement automation tools is key number 10 last one video infrastructure and quality if you don't have the in-house solution engineers i recommend you you guys to outsource as this could be the tricky part for setting and the maintenance of the service it requires a robust infrastructure specifically if you have a big video library to manage or if you have a quite big number of live events going on on daily basis those are my 10 points to build a successful ott video streaming brand if you have any question just leave a comment here below or you can contact me from my official website uh, www.fabiogallo.co and book your free initial consultation ciao